Let's have a look at some statistical functions. Functions we want to look at today are count if, count blank, and rank. You should already be familiar with the count function, which counts the number of cells that contain a value. Well, count if is similar to that, but it only counts the cells if they meet a certain criteria. I've got a spreadsheet set up with some sales figures in for Cumbria and an indication of whether those sales figures are above target or below target. And I've done that using an if function. We're not going to look at if functions today. That's for another video. So we want to count how many weeks we've been above target and how many weeks we've been below target. So we can use this area here. For the above target, let's use the insert function tool. And there's my count if. We select OK. There's only two arguments for count if. The first is the cell range that we want to evaluate. So we can collapse this dialog box and select the cell range that we want to evaluate. We're not evaluating the numbers, we're evaluating the text as to whether or not it's above or below target. Hence, we've got C2 to C53. There's a cell range we want to look at. What is the criteria we want to use? Well, in this instance, we're looking for those above target. So if I type in above target there, and then click on OK, the answer is 37. We can see in the formula bar what the function is. It equals count if brackets. The first argument is a cell range we want to evaluate. And the second, arg second argument is the text that we are looking for. It doesn't have to be text. It can be numbers. Now, you'll all be shouting at me that that's a very poor way of creating a, a function by using text inside there. And you're quite right. We should be using cell references. So let's have a, have a go with the below target figure, but this time use the cell references. And I'll type it in this time. So it's equals count if, always an open bracket. Use the screen tip to guide you. The first look, thing we're looking for is a cell range, which in this instance is C2 to C53. Then a comma to separate the arguments. The next argument is a criteria, and I can use these cells here that already say above or below target to pick that up. So I'm going to link it to cell D4, which is where it says below target. Finish off the function with closing the brackets, press the enter key or the green tick, and there are 15 weeks where we've been below target and 37 weeks where we've been above target. So that's count if. Have a look at the function. Count if, always arguments in brackets. The first argument is a cell range. The second argument is the criteria that we want to use. Another count that's quite useful is count blank. This function we can use to count the number of cells that are blank, that have got no data in them at all. You'll notice from my data, if you look down column B, occasionally there's a blank cell. That corresponds to the weeks where there's been no sales because of holidays. So we can find out how many holidays we've had by counting the blanks. It's very simple. Equals count blank. That is the name of the function. Open our brackets, see the screen tip here is saying we only have one argument, and the argument for this is the range. So it's a cell range we're interested in, in this instance, B2, colon, B53. Now, of course, I could click in and to highlight those cells. Green tick or the enter key. And there we can see we've got five blank cells in that cell range. So that equates to for these purposes, five holidays. Have a look at the function equals count blank. 
just needs the cell range to work with. The next function we're looking at is the rank, and this is an interesting function. It calculates the position in the um, in the order of numbers. So we can see we've got some sales here, and they're all randomly uh, created. Uh, we've got a 1,400 there, a higher one there, a lower one there. Now, what rank does is, behind the scenes, put those into ascending or descending order so you can calculate what position a certain figure comes in in that order. Let's explain it this way. On week seven, we had a sales drive, a real big push to try and up the sales. And you can see we have higher sales in the areas around us. But what position does that come in the overall list? Is it first? Was it the best in all those 53 weeks? Was it the best week? Let's find out. We use the rank formula. We'll use the insert function for this. And there's my rank function. And OK. OK, we've got three arguments for this. The first is the number. That means which number are we looking at that we want to compare with all the others? In this instance, I wanted the number from week seven. So if I collapse that down and select the number in week seven, which is cell B8, and expand that up. So we're going to look for the number in B8. The next argument is the reference. These are the cells that we're going to compare this to. So we're going to look for B8 in these cells. And the cells, of course, are the numbers themselves. B2 to B53. Of course, I could type that in as well. So look for the number B8 inside this cell reference to determine what position it comes. The next argument is not bold, so it's not essential. We don't have to use it. And if you read at the bottom, it says it's a number, and it gives us the rank uh, in the list sorted in descending order if we put a zero in there, or we don't put anything. So the default is to sort in descending order. So these numbers in descending order. So this will give us um, the position of B8 from the top because these numbers are in descending order. And that's actually what I want. So I can either put a zero in there or leave it blank and it will work that out for us. So we'll click on OK. OK, so week seven sales then, 9,418 is the fourth highest sales figure. That's what that means. It's the fourth highest. That's the rank, the fourth highest. Is it, though? Let's have a quick look down. 9.4. See if there's any others around that kind of area. 9.5, so that's one higher. 9.8, another one higher. That's two higher so far. And 9.5, another one higher. So it's three higher than it. So you can see now what that means, what the rank means. The fourth highest in descending order where we looked for that number in the whole cell range. If you don't use rank, you'd have to sort them. You'd have to use the sort facilities and count. That's obviously not very um, good for this purpose. So three statistical tools, all of them very useful. Count if, counts the number of cells if they meet a certain criteria. Count blank, counts the number of blank cells. And rank calculates a position of a particular figure in a series of data.